Joining me now is Dr. Scott Jensen, family physician and Minnesota Soda State Senator. Also with me is Jim Desmond, San Diego County Supervisor. Dr. Jensen, do you expect more states to follow Colorado's lead, given what we're learning about individuals who die with COVID and not from COVID being counted as COVID? I think so, absolutely. I think we saw Pennsylvania subtract 200 some from theirs. I think Minnesota is actually leading. Uh, Minnesota came out recently and said, we are going to separate our probables if we don't have laboratory confirmation, we're going to count them separately. They decided not to use Johns Hopkins for their data source. I think Minnesota's saying, we're going to try to do it the right way. I think Colorado's gonna do it, as well they should, because this is a big deal. Just in our uh, Hennepin County in Minneapolis, we've got commissioners saying that they don't think some of these dollars that are coming from the feds should go to counties that don't have any COVID because they should get it all, the, the cities, the Hennepin County, the big cities. And yet those smaller outstate areas, they had to invest in preparation. They had to shut down, follow all the rules. We knew this was gonna happen. We knew that the numbers were gonna drive the claims for the dollars. Well, you always follow the money in cases like this. And um, uh, Mr. Desmond, you took a lot of heat uh, for your discovery of what was happening in your county and California. Tell us what you discovered. Well, we've had 200 deaths in San Diego County and, and to each of the families who lost a loved one, you know, my heart goes out to them. But yes, out of those 200 deaths, only six had no underlying conditions. And, that, and that's not to say the virus wasn't a catalyst or minimizes the, those deaths. It's just a fact like all the others that I need to consider to make good decisions. And the whole concept of what I was talking about when, when, was it, uh, when this came out was we wanted to safely open up our business. This is San Diego County. We are now at 28% unemployment and rising with no end in sight. And for us to advance to the next phase of opening well, the, businesses. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to chime in, but, but the CDC, the Washington Post is reporting that the statistics branch at their National Center for Health Statistics said, I think the evidence points to the fact that we're underestimating rather than overestimating. The system is designed to collect data on causes of death, not on whatever condition, condition the person might have had. That's the problem, Dr. Jensen. I mean, they're... They, ha they have a lot to protect here, do they not? I mean, I, d I don't have an enormous amount of faith right now in the CDC. I wish I did. I, I wish I didn't feel like the way I feel about it. But something stinks to high heaven here. I think the CDC has got to be recognized for what it is. It's a political organization. Back in the 1940s, when its original creation was, if you will, to defend against malaria, it was totally different. But mission creep has taken over. And the CDC has chimed in with a lot of other political organizations. And, and this is why I think we saw coroners speak up in Pennsylvania. It's why I've, I've spoken up and it's why we've had physicians speak up all around the country in California and Montana, because we're not gonna go down uh, uh, without swinging. This, this is, a lot of it's just malarkey. And the policies being driven by flawed models that don't represent science. And I think that this has been problematic from the word go. Yeah, and I've got to say, uh, so you think about California, and what an amazing state California is. I know it's really liberal, but it's an incredible state. I've spent a lot of time there, lived there uh, summer when I was in law school, and it's just an incredible state. To lock down so much of the state for the, the proportional uh, deaths that were, it, 40 million people in that state of California, 40 million people. And what, what is the death count today? I mean, it's, ho it's horrible, but Compared to New York or New Jersey, that's a, they were in a pretty good situation in California. It's like 2,400 well, uh, deaths, I think, ultimately. Well, and, and our governor has still, you know, is keeping us locked down and he's given us unattainable goals in, Sandy, or in, in the counties for us to attain. And, and that is we have to have 14 consecutive days of zero COVID-related deaths <laughs> for us to start, move to the next phase. And we're a county of 3.3 million people. We can never achieve that. And, you know, we need to know all the facts. We need to make informed decisions. We need to open our